Hey there everybody, this is Austin of the Best I Can Afford Antiques channel. I don't know if I cut myself off on that or not. It seems like I probably did. That's alright, that's fine. Um, I'm going to talk to you about this Satsuma piece that I just got for 99 cents. Uh, $15 altogether, so I mean that's gas money and a dollar piece of Satsuma. I'd take that deal any day of the week, as long as I had $15, <laughs> I would do that. But I wanted to talk to you about this piece of cloisonne here. You know, I've been uh, collecting for a while. This was an early piece that I got. And you see in the middle, there's this black spider. And, uh, you know, all around here, there's there's a bunch of black wiring. And you know what I realized later on in my collecting career here is that is that any wire on cloisonne that's turned black is probably silver. So I started checking over my little plate here. You, can, you know, the more you look at, the more you learn, the more you know. All that jazz. And I think if we maybe look right down here... We can see just a little bit of silver peeking out. Do you see right, right there? Do you see that? That looks like a bit of silver to me. So I think what I'm going to do is take uh, a mixture of baking soda and water and clean this up. And I'll see if uh, we can't get that to be like a silver web that that spider is sitting on. I think that'd be pretty, pretty tremendous right there. And I think these uh, flying insects all around the uh, outside edge there, I think that'll be a uh, silver wire too. So I think pretty soon we'll do that and we'll see, uh, we'll see what that should have looked like 120, 150 years ago. So yeah, um, for now, let's talk about, I'm going to move this back very gently. For now, let's talk about this little fella. And why no one else would have bid on this for 99 cents. Now, I, I really don't know. I really don't know. I think it's beautiful. Let's see if we can get it a little bit less glare. Okay, so far, so bad. Let's see. Y'all. Well, well, criminies. What do we do about that? reduce the amount of light no because the thing's still going to be there no matter what so let's turn it more this way and at least the light won't be in the main picture no you know technical difficulties abound let's do let's do it like that maybe how's that that's not horrible maybe put the camera up a bit and we can we can go at it like that. Okay. Now, this is Satsuma, and it is signed. It's very difficult to see the signature. It's been worn and faded. Um, I do believe that'll be the Shimazu clan crest at the top there. You can see a circle with a bit of a cross in it. And then uh, the Zan mark. So whoever, whoever made this, their last or their first name, or their name ends with Z-A-N. And it's kind of that upside-down fork there. And this is a pretty neat little, uh, I think it would have been a Koro, so an incense burner, maybe. Beautiful little gold bordering that fades into its uh, crackle glaze there. Neat little uh, dot border around the bottom here. And the painting... I really like the painting. I think that's uh I think that's a pretty spiffy thing. So we'll just go around it here, because there's a really interesting subject matter on the other side. Oh, we're already to the other side. Okay. So you get to these children here. And then you get to a water dragon. I'm almost positive that that's what that is. Anyone feel free to correct me. But I'm fairly certain that's a that's a water dragon with flippers and like a dragon face. And isn't he like super delightful? And yeah, uh, I got this for a one dollar bid, ninety nine cents. And it's actually pretty well painted. I mean, look at their faces; they don't look goofy or anything. That's one thing. Uh, that's a pretty reliable cue on which to base quality of. Uh, Ceramics paintings. Look at their faces. 
I mean, if they look like they just saw a ghost or if they look like they are a ghost, but these ones, these ones have pretty, uh, pretty decent features. The children over here aren't that bad. Well, this one's got a wonky eye, doesn't he? <laughs> she, sorry, but still, not too bad. <clears throat> and yeah, I like that piece quite a lot. I love the painting of the rocks there with the uh, gold detail. Isn't that beautiful? And isn't that a neat thing? So yeah, for 99 cents, you can factually get 100 year old Japanese ceramics on the old interwebs there. Nobody fought me for it. Nobody else tried to take it. And, uh, you know, if that's the way they feel about it, that's fine. I'll take it. I will, uh, you know, I don't doubt my decisions because, because the worst I can do is bid on something I enjoy. And this thing I, I particularly enjoy with his, uh, magical water dragon there. All of its gold gilt. I mean, isn't that beautiful? Oh, look, he'll even stand up like that and let us look at him like that. Isn't that a cool thing? So yeah, this is Austin reassuring you that treasure is out there, and some of it can be had for pretty reasonable prices. And, you know, all it takes is a little looking, a little, a little watching, <laughs> a little sneakiness. So yeah, um, get out there, get some treasure. I, I condone it. $15 to not have this. I mean, pshia. You know, I understand if somebody doesn't have $15, I do. I've been there. I've I've definitely not had $15 before. So, so I understand. But that's also why we're here, you know? You can come and look at our stuff. That's that's why we buy, like, tons of this to share with everybody. And, uh, and I hope you guys like it. I hope you appreciate it. I appreciate you. And uh, thanks for coming. This is Austin, Best Second of 40 Antiques Channel.